three things that people need to succeed and it's your responsibility as a leader to evaluate and empower them with that. Number one is knowledge. We say knowledge is power, but knowledge is also empowering. So when you give your people the knowledge that they need to succeed, you empower them. So evaluate, do they have the knowledge? Do they know what they need to know? What do I need to share with them so I empower them? Number two is skill. Do they have the skills that they need to succeed? How can I help them develop the skills that they need? How can I empower them? Because nothing frustrates people more than being asked to do things that they have no skill for. That's where we coming in with our assessments, we help leaders see strengths and blind spots and do and help them not put people out of their strengths areas. Because we talk about, you know, putting people in the people in the growth areas, but growth areas are areas where you actually need to develop your strengths. But sometimes what we call to be a growth area, we actually put people out of their strengths areas and that's frustrating. So do people have the skill they need to succeed? And if not, how can we keep people with the skill to succeed? And the third thing you need to evaluate is do people have the desire? Because no skill, no knowledge and no potential can help people succeed if they don't have the desire. So evaluate, do this person has the desire to succeed? That's something that comes internally. They might not be motivated by that kind of success that you're, you're, you're envisioning for them. So as a leader, you always have to evaluate these things. Do people have the desire? Do people have the skill? And do people have the knowledge to succeed? And empower them in those three areas. So you, you position them for success.